smells like freshly cut grass. I don't know if I should be saying that to anybody that would make them want to try it, but um, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am excited to do another unboxing for the company Sips By. And if you guys are not familiar, Sips By is a tea subscription company where they send from four different companies four packs each of the different flavors of teas that those companies have to offer. And I am so excited to show you guys what's inside. So this is normally $15 a month, but if you guys use my code, which will be along the screen here, you guys can get $5 off of your first box. So of course that's 10 for the first month. So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this unboxing. So this box is for the month of September. And of course, they always have a little note here letting you know about that, as well as curating it specifically for you so you'll have your name on there, along with the different teas that you have here inside and more details on each one of those. So, oh, I already seen one here that I've tried so far before. It's called a Jerry Tea, and this one is really good. It is low in caffeine, and it comes from Swahili Word to employ. It creates employment for people of Western Kenya and all of their net profits go to education for local orphans. That is incredible. And this is the Stephen Smith Tea Maker Bungalow Full Leaf Tea. Love the packaging on this. This bungalow tea is high in caffeine and it says it is grown in the foothills of the Himalayas. This blend of first and second flush Dejerin teas produces a light yet complex tea with nuanced flavor due to a high elevation. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm even more excited because how much high in elevation will I get? <laughs> So the next one that I have here is a French roast. Mm, this is a French roast. This is the ro roasted herbal tea from Ticino. And this one is organic. It's a dark roast and it's an intense deep coffee that notes from the roasting rum and seeds. Why do I sound like this is gonna end up being my favorite? Guys, stay tuned because I am going to try out the ones I haven't tried before and I am excited. The last one, powdery substance, is vanilla matcha. These are usually really good. They end up being one of my favorites. This one is a drink mix that is creamy and refreshing, and it is from David's Tea. I hear that name a lot, David's Tea. This blend is vanilla, matcha, and coconut nectar, and it's the easiest way to get your matcha fix. Mmm, let's get into the taste. for me to test out these teas. Stephen Smith Tea Maker. And this is what it looks like. There we go. That's what it looks like. Cheers. Mmm. This Stephen Smith coffee is absolutely delicious. This is the classic taste of tea. Everything that you will want. Got the strong brew. It has, it's strong, but yet it's light, if that makes any sense. But this is completely delicious. This is that type of tea that you can drink, in my opinion, with or without sugar or with or without like additives like milk. It is absolutely delicious. Tea Cino French Roast. So this is one of the ones, the organic kind, that I kind of had the feeling that would be my first option, but we shall see. So this one is a darker, you see it's much darker than the one that I had previous, and I'm not getting much of a scent, <laughs> so I don't know what this is going to be. It's just tea. <laughs> like, it... I, it's like having something from a restaurant that you you have all the time and you just automatically know what it's gonna taste like so it's not giving you that wow factor. Not a bad taste, just 
tastes like everything else. Got the vanilla matcha. And of course, this is the one that you pour. Now they do recommend, I believe it's five to seven uh, spoonfuls that you drop in here. So yeah, five to seven matcha spoons. Um, I only did about maybe two or three. So I might have to add, that may take away from the taste, but um, <laughs> it smells like grass. It smells like freshly cut grass. I don't know if I should be saying that to anybody that would make them want to try it, but um, yeah. <laughs> but uh, let's give it a try. It tastes like it smells <laughs> with a hint of vanilla. But here's the thing, and I'm going to sound so crazy saying this. I don't know if it's just my taste buds right now because I'm with child, but I'm going to be honest. It has that funny smell, but it is so good. I think I love when you taste it, that initially it tastes like that. Once that vanilla hits, oh baby, that's the money. So this definitely moved up to the second slot. So my pick for the best one, the best new one in the box is definitely the number 47 Stephen Smith. This is absolutely delicious. I love trying these out so much each month. They are absolutely good. Thank you so much to Sip Spy for allowing me to try this for the month of September. Guys, it is almost Halloween. I am so excited. Is anybody else as excited as me? I'm just wondering also like what's going to be in the box for the month of October. But definitely this September one is in the running. It was really good. And guys, if you are interested in signing up, I will have all the information down below in my description box so that you tea lovers can get you a taste of different teas each month. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in and stay tuned because my video tomorrow is going to be a product review. And I am so glad that you guys took the time to watch this taste testing unboxing with me. So guys, enjoy the rest of your week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.